What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, we got some more unfortunate news. As Earl the True Space Jr. seems to have now confirmed the split between himself and two-time trainer of the year, well-renowned future Hall of Fame trainer, Derek James. Errol Spence has been with Derrick James his entire professional career. His entire professional career, the truth, has been with Derrick James. Errol Spence suffered the first major setback in his career, July 29th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena, when he took on his biggest rival, Terrence Bud Crawford. This was a 50-50 fight on paper if there ever were one, okay? It was the most anticipated fight in the last decade. It was an undefeated, undisputed, welterweight showdown. And it was a one-sided, dominant performance victory in favor of Terrence Bud Crawford, who dropped Errol Spence in the second round, twice in the seventh, then stopped him in the ninth. <clears throat> With that said, Errol Spence is a fighter who is a hard hat, lunch pail, consistent, fundamentally sound fighter. Not a lot of flash and flair to Errol Spence's style. And now Errol Spence took the first loss in his career and it's said that he and Derrick James have not spoken since the fight. Well, now I'm being told they have spoken, but Errol Spence doesn't like the fact that now Derry James has become, once Errol Spence unified the belts, became a three belt world champion, and for the titles, he stopped Kel Brook in 11th, he stopped Yordanis Ugas in the 10th, he dropped Sean Porter in 11th, and won all three of those belts, right? Dominating perf performances by Errol Spence. Beautiful. Errol Spence suffered a horrific car accident that changed the trajectory of his career forever. He was very inactive from that point forward and just hasn't seemed to be himself since then. That was just 10 days after unifying the belts against Sean Porter, October 2019. He beat Sean Porter September 2019, October 2019, is when Errol Spence suffered that horrific car accident. It changed everything. So with that said, <clears throat> Errol Spence fights in a specific manner. Terrence Crawford is elusive. Terrence Crawford is versatile. He can switch south for the orthodox. He dominated the fight. And now it's said that Derrick James and Errol Spence, they, you know, Derrick James became well-revered, well sought out. He brought in Jamel Charlo. Off of his success with Errol Spence, he brought in Jamel Charlo. Then he brought in Frank Martin. Then he brought in Anthony Joshua. Then he brought in Ryan Garcia. And it's said that Errol Spence is not happy, mainly with the situation with Ryan Garcia, is what I'm being told. He's not happy. Uh, and so Errol Spence, he put up a cryptic post on social media. And he said, got to find a new home, right? And he said, got to find a new home. Then somebody said, you leaving the PBC? He said, no. Then it was speculated that he's leaving Derrick James. Well, now somebody put up a post. And on this post, it states, right? Uh... They said, hey, bro, I'm breaking it to you first. But Errol Spence hasn't uh, talking, hasn't been talking uh, to Derrick James since the loss. Don't be surprised if we don't see Spence and Derrick back together. My sources gave me an inside uh, tip. Well, from that, it went to this, right? Somebody, same person, they said, you know, um... I let you know, I let you know this already, right? Errol Spence liked the post, okay? Right? 
So, Earl Spencer seemingly liking the post that is indicating he's leaving Derrick James. And that's unfortunate. So, Errol Spence is 33. He's 28 wins, one loss, no draw. 22 wins by way of knockout. He's had some major setbacks. He had the car accident that saw him out the ring for 14 months. Uh, he came back, beat Danny Garcia. Then he was out the ring again for a year. He was scheduled to fight Manny Pacquiao August of 20, August 21 of 2021. He suffered a broken or detached retina that saw him uh, um, out the ring again for a year. He came back a year later. He beat Yadenis Ugas in a unification. Ugas filled in for him and beat Manny Pacquiao. Then he filled in for Then he beat Ugas and took the belt from Yadenis Ugas. Then he was out the ring again for a year before he got the Terrence Crawford fight. Then he, we know the history. The rest is history. Now, Errol Spence is moving up to 154 pounds, right? And so, what would be the next best option for Errol Spence? Stylistically, at 33 years of age, suffering so many traumas. Now, he was supposed to have the Terrence Crawford rematch, but he suffered a cataract that he stated was hindering his vision, preventing him from um, being responsive reactionary to Terrence Crawford's jab and hooks. He said, hence why the reason I got hit with so many jabs and hooks, right? So with that said, he had a surgery on that and that prevented the rematch from happening. And other medical, according to Steven Espinosa, other medical issues have arose. If Errol Spence is gonna make a change, what based off of his style he's a southpaw uh he's flat-footed he don't fight on his toes um he was once considered a black mexican fighter aggressive high work rate uh strong durable fighter right jabs hooks breaks you down physically and mentally so now it said that you know um He's splitting from Derrick James. What's the next best option? Me personally, I think that go right down the road to Houston. Ronnie Shields, Hall of Fame trainer. Uh, Ronnie Shields is, you know, um, a legend in the sport. Uh, he teaches many different styles. I think that that would be the perfect fit for Errol Spence. I think Ronnie Shields would be the perfect fit for Errol Spence at this stage of his career. Or another fighter I would like to see him with that deals with Southpaws. Coach Kevin Cunningham down in Florida. Change the scenery completely. See if he's go with Ronnie Shields, he gonna go to Houston. Uh, that's still in Texas. Change the scene, scenery completely. Coach Cunningham is in Florida. He's a no-nonsense coach. Uh, he's a man's man. Um, military background. Knows the sport of boxing in and out. Works on your conditioning. Works on fundamentals. And he works with southpaws. Erickson Lubin. Uh, um, Corey Spinks. He has a history with southpaws. Errol Spence is a southpaw. I think that Coach Cunningham or Ronnie Shields. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.